Hey there, all out there in the YouTube world. Uh, you can see I got me one heck of a mess going on. I got me a pigeon box there, pigeon box there, pigeon box there. All this mess, all this mess. I'm going to be trying to clean up. You can see I got a big bunch of wire over there. And the reason being is we're going to go in here in the chicken coop. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a ladder. Okay, that little box up there is gone. And both these little boxes are gone. And this little box in the corner is gone. And the reason being is I made this new thing. I wish I could get up. I should have brought the, should have put the ladder in there. But they're right there. I don't know if you can see that. They're two by four. That goes into this little opening there that uh, um, the pigeons can go in. That little line right there is a divider between that box and this box. And one thing there is, and there's another door right there. So there's two boxes here and there's two boxes there that I made. And it's got the same little door and the same little door. Don't mind that little mess up. Don't look at that. Oh, oh, don't look at that one. Hey, you know what? Don't look, don't look at any of the mess ups. Uh, but inside there, I, you weren't going to be able to see it, but just right up in there. Not at that white bar though. It's not at that white bar. It's a little higher than that. There's a little platform inside there. It goes all the way across. Well, it's piece there and a piece there because that divides the two boxes my thought is is they might uh if they go in here at for it to be a nest because there used to be five uh you know used to be a nest there and then all the rest of them up in here there was four up in here well sorry not four there's five all together there was one over there one there three here and but my thought is is if they turn around and go in here if they have the babies on the bottom you know start making a nest on the bottom and don't care about that platform that platforms goes way up high uh then i'll make this into four boxes you know so i'll put another door up here somewhere somewhere i don't know yet but the thought is is this is all wire uh i found some, somebody and some neighbor dropped me off a cage one time and it's just got this little half inch by one inch uh, wood. It was a big square thing and I just kind of cut out some corners, but and it has some uh, Oh, probably quarter inch maybe half inch uh, Oh crud But it doesn't really matter some square wire in there That's so the, uh, the the chickens can't get up there and so forth and then the babies can't fall out uh, I've had problems with uh, Let's say that box. Well that box didn't have anything But this box up here where the pigeons would fall out same with these, you know, they Every now and then a pigeon will fall out and get on the floor and then the chickens kill it and or try to well Maybe not kill it. They try to eat it But my thought is is if they fly clear to the top and make their nest I mean it'd be kind of nifty But if they did that then when the little bird falls off the nest it falls down in this great big It's a pretty big hole in there these little holes that it can run around in there and not get hurt and in the meantime as they get bigger uh, a lot of these pigeons will go and start making babies again. They'll be able to go back up in there, lay their eggs, and the little youngsters wouldn't be able to uh, uh, bother them. Uh, here's a piece of wire. It goes from there to right here, chicken wire. And that way, only the males or females can set up there. And they don't have to guard this whole thing. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I still got to cover this one up, but I'll be... I'll be working in here right here. I gotta take these out. I think I'm gonna try to do that today. And I, my thought on it was was gonna take uh, these coolers out. Boy, the lights really changed it up now. Oh, there we go. If I take these two coolers out, then I get four more boxes. And I thought about taking this shelf. Sorry for this little guy, you know, but they're probably gonna lose their nest. Uh, I thought about sticking them both up here. You know, cramming them up to the ceiling, move the shelf all the way up, sticking them up there. Uh, if they will, if it'll fit, I don't know if it'll fit or anything. And then moving those two boxes up there. But I'm in debate now whether to move these boxes up here or not. Just leave all the boxes out. That'll be eight holes up there. We'll have this. And there was two pairs outside. Gosh, I gotta get out of here. And you may uh, be asking yourself... Why am I doing this? Well, uh, 
don't know if it was 4th of July or the day after. Now I'd have to look at the calendar, you know, my book. I call it a book. I call everything a book. But uh, I have to look at my book to see if what happened. But uh, all a few days beforehand, I don't know if you can see that there, big green pipe. Well, try to figure out where to put it. I don't know when I'd actually did it. So, I mean, I act like it was yesterday, but it wasn't really yesterday. But I'd sat it up here on this corner and kind of shot it off this way and laid it on uh, that downspout there. That downspout did go into that 55-gallon drum. The drum then fill up from the rain and then fill up a water inside the chicken coop. And I quit doing that when uh, I got the pigeons because, you know, they're, they shit a day take craps and dumps all over the top of the lid or the roof and i will have to make a i don't know i've seen a little uh pvc uh semi filters the water runs into one and then it fills up and runs into the next year and blah 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 but whatever we had a break in it was obviously my fault you know, i feel awful over this but uh, uh a raccoon came in and up there is where uh, the door for the pigeons to be able to come in and out as they pleased. Well, it went along that pipe, crawled up there, got inside, and, and wreaked havoc on everything. And when, when I mean wreaked havoc, it wreaked havoc. Uh, it killed that. Those babies in there, I don't know about their parents. I haven't seen them. It didn't get these babies up here, but I believe that I've only caught the male, which means the female's gone. And then as we go back inside, remember where I said there was those, uh, all those nests up there. Uh, yeah, it killed, uh, I don't know about the parents, but it wrecked the nest here. There was no babies, but there was a nest. It killed uh, a pair of babies in there, and I found two adults. It killed uh, babies everywhere. There was, like I said, five sets of babies up there. And then there was uh, a nest right here that was hanging in the thingy. There was a nest right here and a nest right over into here, you know, maybe more like right in here. So there was, let's see, seven, I don't know. I had probably, I don't know now. I'm just so distraught and I mean, I've got... I'm glad that it didn't kill this chicken for sure, and that chicken. Uh, those are my broody hens. Uh, they both got about 12 eggs under them now. Now that one's trick. That one will do it two, three times a year. That one will only do it once a year, but uh, uh, she'd been setting on eggs, and I've been stealing them every day for the like, last week or two, and now I just filled them up full of those uh, incubator eggs. And uh, same, well, sort of with her, but anyway it killed all the sea when it comes to the chickens i can't remember how many i got hit he did, that male had two males uh he had five hens with him and he doesn't have any no now uh there's probably i don't know i think it was 12 chickens 12 chickens got killed all my young ones as really bad as this year uh, a bunch of hens are gonna well when i say a bunch it was probably only about eight six to maybe eight uh we're gonna get butchered but uh it didn't kill them it killed all my young ones that lay eggs so now i'm down to hens that lay eggs every you know not as often i try to i want to try or i try to butcher them every three years you know and so forth and then hatch out new ones to well i don't hatch them out they hatch them out but anyway i lost 20 plus 20 plus pigeons all the babies there's nobody in the, in the coop now for the past week or since since that day there's been nobody in the coop i only have that pair right there in that their box that i know for sure and i have that dad that's out outside there uh but other than that uh that's the only pair i know of that i have uh those two little white birds that uh uh i kind of made friends and helped back to life uh the one that is really friendly it's alive but it's brothers it's it's nestmate is dead uh almost everybody i mean it's just crazy there's 20 plus pigeons adult pigeons you know, i was supposed to be able to harvest them this year too uh and you know i mean i 
I don't know if anybody else likes to eat pigeon, but I like to eat pigeon, and they taste good, and, you know, some people probably get mad that I want to eat a pigeon, but, in other words, I eat them, and, uh, every year, you know, I try to butcher some, but, you know, when tragedy happens, I don't get to butcher for a while, so just like now, lost all the, all these mates, so I won't be able to harvest this year at all, uh, there's probably, I think I got 40 pigeons now, uh, which I know that, you know, sounds like a whole lot, but there's only 10 pair, I think, maybe 12 pair. Uh, I, I'm just, I haven't even, it doesn't really matter. I just, I'm not going to be able to butcher this year now because I'll have to wait to see who pairs up, but, or who, where, what. Everybody's so confused. I'm so confused. Other than that, uh, I did set out the traps the next, the next, you know, the day that I found it. And I set out uh, one, two, three conibear, or three body grips, and two, uh, one and a halfs, and then this dog proof trap. Uh, at this moment, uh, I only have uh, that dog proof trap's going, and I don't know if you can see that bucket laying right up here, but that bucket's the only thing that's live. There's another bucket below there. And, the night that it happened, uh, there was I put a bucket inside, so there was the three conibears bears running, and then I haven't done anything yet. I haven't taken them out or anything, but you know, I put a leg trap in that door, and then I put a leg trap in another door area, and uh, uh, all I I caught once the, after the first night, and I realized that it was my my deal, and I pulled I pulled that thing out there, and nothing, you know, nobody got in after I, you know figured out what the heck I hap happened and uh but uh let's see I've caught one male raccoon uh one male possum two female possums let's see is that what I let's see yeah that's all I've caught in so far last night was a dry run didn't catch nothing uh so I think today's Tuesday so since fourth of July everything's been running and uh, the first night I caught one uh, possum. The second night I caught the raccoon. And the next night caught an... I think it's been one a night. And now it's nothing. Uh, but I'm going to leave them hot for a while. The traps anyway. And see what happens. But uh, that's what I caught. And the, the possums, I did a pretty good damage on them. I kind of felt really bad. Uh, because... Uh, you know, they both had babies, the females did. Uh, so they had, had not like, they're like, uh, oh, they had, they looked like the mice look. They're still pink, you know, inside her belly or pouch or whatever you want to call it. So there's nothing I could do there uh, except throw them in this, throw them, uh, throw them out to get ate by the buzzards. But anyway, just letting everybody know, you know, it's kind of tragedy, but I'm going to be cleaning all this mess up. I'm so. I had a comment one time about, oh man, that place is a pigsty. Well, maybe not pigsty. The guy didn't say that, but said, uh, that's probably what he wanted to say. Probably said, holy crap, man. You got crap laying all over. What a freaking dump. Uh, but he didn't say that. Uh, and I don't think he really said it. If he did, it's still no hard feelings, you know. I, you know, or however. But whatever. I'm going to be trying to clean all this mess up. I'm tired of all this. I'm going to cut this tree out this winter so I can go ahead and extend the shed. I'm going to get rid of all this while well, I say that, but, you know, who knows if I'll ever really get it done. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this entire outdoor thing, build a whole new little lean-to dealy, and, you know, this, this chicken coop was actually a storage shed. When we were just camping, uh, we built, now that might have been second, built our little cabin first, and then we built that and started storing stuff in that. And then uh, uh, a neighbor moved, got rid of this dog cage, so I put it up against that and raised some uh, chickens in it, and then it just kind of morphed from there. But that was that. This actually is supposed to be a greenhouse off to the back, and this was supposed to be a tool shed at some point. But that's not how it's going so far. But anyway, sorry about all the yakking. Maybe I'll edit a lot of this out. Anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know that, uh, or my friends anyway, uh, lots of crap load of pigeons. Yeah, you know, whole freaking bunch of them. I mean, it looks just crazy. Uh, and the chick and the chickens, holy crap, they're all gone. I mean, it's just that's really man. I think I got eight left. You know, well, eight counting the, you know, my little gray girl and the two 
to uh, ones that are laying on the nest. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna take this kind of as a, I have, you know, they're God's birds, you know, so, you know, it's, it's not like they're my birds. Uh, and I'd been wanting to tear the ceiling out for a long time and, and been wanting to build these boxes for a long time when the pigeons actually moved into here. You know, when I pulled all my crap out and put uh, the chickens in here, the pigeons moved in and it just, I just wasn't prepared for any of it. Uh, but reason I hadn't uh, uh, taken it out is because, you know, I had nests and nests and had nests everywhere and I didn't want to disturb them and just let them build up. And then since this tragedy happened, that's what's gonna, that's what I'm doing, taking everything out. Rebuilding, rechanging it. This will be a lot nicer, or I think it'll be a lot nicer. Uh, what do you guys think? You think it's gonna be nicer? I kinda, I like that a lot better. Uh, uh, the raccoon, if it was ever to get in, could probably still get in, be able to climb up this thing and so forth, but chickens won't be able to get in, the babies won't be able to fall out. And then once I get these pulled up, you know, that hint that there'll be two more there and two more there. But anyway, y'all get the picture. Uh, just wanna tell everybody I love them and uh, Hope everybody had a good 4th of July. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for listening to me. Bye. <laughs>